This world is not a place to be here forever. And the one who has got that haqiqa or got that reality in his heart and is open, they will not be attached to this world. So for example, the one who listens to music, they listen to music and they're enjoying the music, right? And they're enjoying the lyrics and they're enjoying the songs and they're enjoying the beats. They get temporary satisfaction. It takes their mind away from their troubles. They don't think about the troubles or they're thinking about how tough how big, so they might be listening to a, to a rap song and the rap artist is saying yeah and they did this to me and that to me and then I bust them and I got bop and then I boom boom and da 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 yeah so basically this guy sitting here in his little you know cushion armchair is thinking you know he's skinny little guy yeah but he's thinking yeah my enemy is gonna boom boom I'm gonna bust them I'm gonna boom boom yeah so he basically gets excited for a temporary moment, he gets excited. Or perhaps, he's in some kind of love. So he wants to express his love. So the guy says, you and me, in our arms, or whatever. And he's basically thinking, ah, oh, ah, oh, I wish that thing basically came true, me and her, us both of us together. So temporarily, he's just taking his mind somewhere else. Or she's taking her mind somewhere else. When they've listened to their song, or their music, and one hour is gone, or whatever time has gone back, and they switch it off, they're back to where they were. Nothing has changed. But now what they've done is, they've actually, without realizing, they have now, you know their mind, their mind, see the mind, the qalb, yeah? whatever it has in terms of the hearing, in terms of the sight, in terms of what you put inside your brain, it's now an automatic DVD player. See, Uncle Satan, not Uncle Satan, Iblis, who made a promise to Allah to take all of us to hellfire, he comes back into this heart after you've listened to music, and now he's got a whole storage of DVDs to play. He's got DVDs and he's got CDs to play. So basically, when next time you're trying to do something good or you're walking, whatever, he, he only has to come inside and put the CD inside your head. You don't listen to anything inside your mind. And what you hear, the boom boom, the bus thing, the dum dum, the dum dum, is playing in the back of your mind. It is. The people who listen to something on a regular basis. If you listen to Quran again and again, tell me brother, is it not true or not? That you listen to Quran, you listen to Quran, you listen to Qari again and again. You're just walking, you're praying, whatever you're doing, the sound comes in your heart, yes or no? Automatically it will, because the mind records it. It will play it. So shaitan, what he's done to you is, he told you, get away from this, temporary, by listening to the music. And after you've listened to it, now he's got a few extra DVDs and CDs to play. When you watch something on TV, when you've got temptation of watching something you're not supposed to watch. When you're doing these things and you're into all of this, you are only adding to the collection of DVDs that you're giving to the shaitan to play inside your head. If there's something wrong, I'll tell you brother, you will never get rid of that in your life. You can always bring back a memory with that, that you have somewhere in your life that you did something that you were somewhere. At any age, you can bring it back up. Good memories and bad memories, both. You can bring it back up. And what happens is, Abdullah bin Mas'ud anhu said, Al-ghina yumbitu nifaqa fil qalb. Music creates hypocrisy in the heart. What does music create, brothers? Hypocrisy. Because what it does is, when music is there, and you're trying to put inside it the dhikr of Allah, the two things don't mix. The two things don't mix. Why don't they mix? Because one, Allah has created to be calm. Now, guys, if I, if I say this, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'in Now when you listen to that, right? None of you barely moved. But if I was to take all of us into a hall where they've got a nightclub, yeah? And the sound is boom 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 boom
and with the beats, with the beats, yeah, the arms are moving, the body is moving, boom, 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 boom. Now you tell me, tell me why is it the case that people are doing that? The sound has an immediate effect on the body. Quran, you listen to, you are content. Yes or no, brothers? Come on. You listen to Quran, you're content. You're content. You listen to the music, then it's creating, there's some effect that takes place. You put it, you turn a love song on, it will bring about passions inside yourself. You, you put a song on about a street boys and being rough and tough and drugs and whatever, it brings about a different side inside you. It automatically does that. Whether you intend or you don't intend, it will do that. It will have that effect. Even like, you play classical music to 50s and 60s people who love listen to classical music. They're going da, da, da. Because the, the sound is a melodious, soft, soft one. You play some kind of rap or some R&B or whatever it is that they have outside there, people are going to be different towards that. Why? Sounds have got a direct effect onto the bodies. I've, uh, Ibn Qayyim al jawziyya rahimahullah He said a beautiful thing in Ighathatul Lahafan He said a beautiful thing inside that He said that music, songs in one's heart only make one move away from the Rahmah of Allah and Tilawa of the Qur'an only make one come closer to Allah so if a person is listening to the tilawa, a person is moving more towards Allah, and when a person listens to music, he's moving away from Allah.